Hey there everybody, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I'm thrilled to be sharing a new release from the Greetery today, and I will be focusing on this Pinwheel Party stencil set. This set is six stencils in all, and when combined together, they create a party on a card or a party scene on a card, and I'm excited to share how to create that with you today. So I won't be mentioning specific ink names in my video. You can find all of the detailed information in the description. I'm going to start with a one stencil, and this is the first stencil to start with when you're creating your party. You can see that I'm using my cardstock here in an in a landscape orientation, and this is an A2 size card front. So this is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. When you're using these stencils, you'll find that there are guidelines embossed into the stencil itself. So you can line up your cardstock and you can do this either from landscape or portrait orientation. But because I wanted to make sure I got all of the images in while I was demonstrating this to you, I've decided to use this one in a landscape orientation. Starting with A1, I'm going to go ahead and take my darker pink color and ink blend that all over my stencil. These are creating those sort of like fan crepe paper uh, decorations that you often see at parties, and it's going to end up looking really dimensional and really great. So here is our first ink blended image using the A1 stencil. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab A2 and here you can kind of see those lines and how they're embossed into the stencil. So I'm lining that up with my cardstock again. By the way, I am using my Make Art Station because I really love it for ink blending. I use this magnetic ruler to keep my stencils and cardstock in place and it works great every time. I'm going ahead and lining up my stencil and not only now am I using my the embossed lines as a guide, but I'm using the actual images themselves. If you're lining this upright, the pieces that are open for the stencil should be directly next to the pieces that you've already ink blended. So now that you see I've used my lighter pink color, when I go ahead and lift that stencil, I have two colors for the same design. And this just gives it a lot of dimension and makes it sort of look folded like you would normally see one of these sort of like fan folded paper decorations. I'm now using B1 stencil, again lining it up, and you can see as I line it up here that it really fills in those gaps. So if you were wondering why some of the decorations were only half moons rather than like the full circle, this is exactly why. The other set of stencils fills in all of the necessary spaces and it masks it at the same time so that you don't have to worry about doing that yourself. So you can see that I went ahead and used blue or this bluish green shade uh, for my second set of decorations. And now I'm using B2 and this will do the same exact thing for B1 as our previous stencils did. And it will fill in the gaps in between those spaces that we've already ink blended. So again, these two stencils together work together to give a lot of dimension to these decorations and kind of create more of a realism. And so that's why it's important to use two different colors. That way it doesn't look flat. You could absolutely use two totally different colors. You don't have to do a light and a darker version of the same color. And I'll show you that in just a little bit as well. So now that we've gone ahead and got all of these fans created, we're going to go ahead and create the rest of our scene. This stencil pack also comes with a masked stencil so that you can put it over your fan decorations and then create the rest of your scene. So now we have two separate parts to this scene all while using the same stencil pack. For the bottom half of my scene, I'm going to make it look like there's confetti falling from behind these decorations. And I'm going to do that with this party background stamp from the newest release, also from the Greetery. And I'm using my Misty just to make sure that my mask stays in the right place and that I have the stamp set up exactly where I'd like it. 
I'm inking this up in some embossing ink, which is just a clear sticky ink that makes it really easy to emboss on your cards. And then I'm going to go ahead and close the misty door to make sure that I get a nice impression. Now I don't have to worry about any of this stamp getting on top of my decorations that I've already ink blended because I've gone ahead and masked that off with the stencil from the set. I'm using Aladdin embossing powder from Wow Embossing Powder to create a really nice sparkle and shiny confetti. This is one of my favorite embossing powders from them and I thought it was perfect for this party scene. I take my heat gun and use that to set this confetti image with the embossing powder and that's completed my party scene. I kept it really clean and crisp and I've used the pinwheel party stamp and die set to create my sentiment that says let's party it's your birthday and just to create a little bit more dimension I went ahead and die cut the shadow image from the sentiment set from the actual uh, background itself and this just keeps it all cohesive but gives it more dimension. I'm now using the pinwheel dies and I'm going to cut this out of white cardstock first. Now you can see that in this stencil set, you also get these individual decoration images and you get the masks as well to the right. I won't be using the masks today, but I'm going to be using these individual stencils for these die cuts. These small stencils are removable, but I decided to keep them all together just because at that point it makes it the same size as the rest of the stencils, which makes it easier for me to store. So you can see that I've gone ahead and used this lighter color purple when I first have placed and lined up my stencil. And now all I have to do is rotate it slightly so that I'm covering those pieces that I've already ink blended onto. I'm now using a darker color to ink blend the rest. And now I have the very same image that I have ink blended before, but this time it's die cut out so I can use it to create a lot more dimension. So I've put them all together and I've decided to use some purples and yellows. And then you can see a couple of these dyes as well. I used purple and yellow together. And this was like what I was saying before, where you can create completely different looks. There's also a die that cuts out the very same shape as the stencil. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out from an A2 size piece of cardstock. Now I've cut this out because I'm going to use it as a sort of an awning or to give it a little bit more dimension for these decorations. Like I did earlier, I'm bringing back that top stencil and I'm going to use some ink this time to blend onto my cardstock. Now before we used it just to stamp, but I'm actually going to use it twofold this time. Like I said, I'm using it to ink blend some blue onto my cardstock and I'm doing it in this sort of ombre or faded fashion where it's much darker at the top near the stencil or actually near the mask, I guess, and then fades. But I'm also going to use that same confetti background stamp to stamp onto this cardstock just to give a little bit more of a party vibe. I've used some white embossing powder this time and just kept it really, really simple. And then I'll go ahead and use my heat gun, just like I did before to set this and make sure that it's adhered nicely to my card front. Something I really love about this set and all of these sets together is that you can use them for so many different occasions. It's not just birthdays. It's not just graduation. You can make any type of party or congratulations card out of this set. And you can also make it appropriate for a small child or an adult friend. And I really love when I can use my stamps and dies in multiple ways. So I've gone ahead and used that stencil guide just to kind of show me where I need to put all of these different decorations, these like fan decorations, and I've adhered them to that die cut from before with some adhesive or just liquid adhesive. And now I have put some foam tape onto the back of it and I'm ready to adhere it to my card front. Like I said, this just gives it a lot more dimension and we have a little bit more pop up than we do obviously just from the stencil. So this is the finished product. I love all these colors together. Again, I used the pinwheel party stamp and die set for my sentiment. 
And this time, of course, it says let's party and eat lots of cake, which I am always ready for. I hope that you've enjoyed the video and gotten some inspiration on how you can use the Greedery's newest release. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to ask and you can find all of the links in the description. Thanks so much.